Hi, I'm going to show you Tammy Rizzo's Navajo Ply on the Fly technique. It's a very ingenious technique and I urge you to learn how to do it. First I've spun my first length of singles on my spindle. I'll wrap a little bit around my hand to give myself a head start on the next go round. Now I'll fold it in thirds and hook this hook, hook this loop under the hook. I'll hook this first loop around the hook of the spindle and spin in the plying direction. I'll spin in the plying direction, check for balance. Now I'll wrap this on the spindle and be ready to go for the next go round. This time I had this loop to deal with. I'll hook it over the shaft, hook the singles under the hook, and now I'm ready to spin again. See, you just put the loop over the spindle shaft and the singles under the hook, and now you're ready to spin. Being tall has its advantages. I'll stop the spindle, wrap this around my left hand, I'll put the spindle under my arm, <coughs> and now I'll pull this little loop through. Unhook it from, unhook the singles from the hook, unhook the loop from the hook, fish the singles through, I'll put it anywhere on my left hand, unroll just a little bit off the spindle, and hook it under the hook. Now I'll take the hook off of my left hand, hold the spindle in my right hand, wind out what I just spun, I'll hold a little bit in reserve, and now I'll let the spindle just cruise on down. If the spindle is too lightweight to cruise on its own, I can grab it between my knees and arrange it this way. Now I'll hook the hook hook the loop on my left hand and ply. I'll check for balance and wrap it around the spindle. And that's it. You just keep on going until you're done. Isn't that great?